Good morning. Once again, I'm here. This is Dr. Teresa Moten. I am only on this line to advertise my new book that just came out, Broken Stories to God's Glory. I'm excited about God. God has been so good to me. I told you on yesterday, last night, when I spoke with my publisher, I was excited. I couldn't even wait till today. <laughs> I started airing last night. And I still got people who called in and and people who uh, answered me. And I thank God because, you know, I know this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm thanking God once again, as I said before, uh, you know, God, God doesn't have to bless me, but uh, I finished this project and I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, many people buying it and being delivered and set free by the power of God. I want you to join in with me and just be excited, you know, because God wants to do something in people's lives now. Um, there are so many people who are in church, but they yet bound. And I believe when we tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help us God, we're going to get delivered. So I, I'm expecting many people to buy this book. I know um, I had one cousin, just one person by themselves. Uh, she said she want nine books, my cousin in California. And then I have cousins all over. I mean, really, I am excited about the orders that are uh, people are asking me about the book, okay? Uh, I don't care if it's they're buying it to be nosy. That's good, too. Advertisement is advertisement. But I hope you're buying it to be blessed, though. Amen? And I want you to come out because we'll have it available even at the park um, on this Sunday, Church Without Walls. We're going to be doing that, uh, coming out of the four walls on this Sunday while we're uh, doing our outreach endeavor. And so I want you to be blessed by that as well. But something about this book has a great anointing on it. For people who uh, don't have, uh, I'll say, self-esteem in the spirit, uh, where you're going to get a charge and you're going to start feeling different, you're going to start feeling like you can do it. You know, like if God told you this is what you are, then you're going to know this is what you are because you're going to see where I came from, just nothing, zero, nothing. I mean, I didn't even have the proper clothes to wear to church. But one day the Lord blessed me. It's in the book, too, what happened, because someone saw me being faithful, and, and I received a miracle, yeah. So I, I definitely am looking forward to uh, this book being a success. I believe it's going to be more of a success than I think, honestly, because... Uh, like I said before, so many people who play church and, and they come into the church and act like they want to be saved. But it's not until your heart line up with the full repentance of God that, you know, something happens in the spirit realm. Amen. And I'm excited. So I'm looking forward to it. Like I said on yesterday, when you get bubbly about something and you get excited, I never aired like this. You know, I've never been on live about stuff, you know, unless it's at church or uh, prayer, you know, but I'm so excited. My God, you just don't know. I'm excited. And if anybody on this line with me, you ought to be excited with me as well, because you know yourself. If you've been knowing me over 20 years or more, then you know God has been really, really good to me. Amen. And I want to see God bless you as well. If you're not where you should be, I'm telling you, God's going to get you there. You're going to read this book. You're going to get there. I'm telling you, I got all kinds of stories in there, broken and everything. And from beauty to ashes and on and on and on. Yes, yes, getting connected to Jesus all that, you know, and I believe this is going to be one of the greatest 
uh, I won't say greatest novels because it's a small novel, but yet it is a powerful novel because it's written under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. So I want you to be blessed. I want you to uh, look for it. Look, I want you to look for it now. It's going to be on different uh, uh, websites and as well as uh, you can contact Greater Works Deliverance Ministries or Teresa Moulton Ministries. Uh, it's going to be on either one. I believe Greater Works Deliverance Ministry International Inc. will be your best source of, of receiving this because they're going to have a link on there. So uh, if not, you can contact me on Teresa Moten on Facebook. And if not, then I see you at the church or at the park this Sat this Sunday at uh, 10, 10.30, 10.30 a.m. And we'll, we'll be serving out there as well as witnessing. We'll be serving hot dogs and and uh, witnessing to those who don't go to church because sometimes you have to bring the church to the people. Amen? And I believe that God want to bring the church to the people now. Amen? As well. Four walls is good, but sometimes we have to make a shifting so that people can, you know, feel God's hand uh, without being in a, a building. Because that's just a building. Because the temple of God is you. And when you go somewhere, the church go. And I thank God for having that revelation that I don't have to uh, definitely, you know, don't forsake to assemble yourself and submit to your pastor. I'm not giving you no wrong information because I tell my people the same thing. You go to church and you submit to God and your pastor and you will grow strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So I want you to remember this book now, Broken Stories to God's Glory. I've been writing this book for some years, amen. And I've been in, in a lot of different groups over the years, but nevertheless, I'm only going to do what God tell me to do. Believe me, if God tell me to do something, I'll do it. If God tell me not to do something, I won't do it. Glory to God, because I want God to get the glory in my life. I want him to say, enter into my rest. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over the few things. Now I'm going to make you rule over over that which is much. The Wallace and the Jones, I know, are going to be the biggest contributors. Because they are already uh, asking for the book. And so I definitely am getting that lined up for you. Um, I know another group of church that I'm going to be dealing with uh, that will be getting books from me. But I thank God today, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Uh, when God give you, uh, say, a vision or he said, write the vision, make it plain. And then you write it down and then you execute it. And that project come to flourishing. You ought to be excited. Amen. And get excited for somebody else. And then guess what? It'll happen for you. Don't just be a snooper. Don't be just somebody sitting on the sideline talking about, yeah, look at them. They're trying to do this. No, get with them, push them, help them. And guess what? God will turn around and do the same thing for you. I know what I'm talking about. And God is getting ready to do something great and mightily in my life for this. I feel, I know this was not just written just for me to give to Greater Works Deliverance Ministries. No, this book, it, it will definitely be a catalyst to somebody being delivered from drug addiction, from all kinds of um, addictions, or because uh, you got people in the church now that act as if they never, ever done anything in their life. But those are the ones that's doing the most. Amen. So I, I'm not here to judge you because judge yourself and you won't be judged. I'm only here to tell you, to encourage you to buy this book, Broken Stories to God's Glory. And you will see that God is getting the glory in this book. And you're going to feel the anointing on it. 
You're going to feel the anointing on it because it was done in much prayer. Amen. So God bless you once again, as I said before. I'm looking forward to this book coming out. It's at print now, and I should have it as early as Thursday. But I told the people of God in my assembly that we will have them at the park on Sunday. And you can start as early as Friday with the Greater Works Deliverance Ministries or Teresa Moden. You can order on Friday evening. Amen. So God bless you. Stay prayerful on today. Be careful on today. And I want you to keep looking up. And I'm talking about God is getting ready to just shower on your seed that you planted last year. is getting ready to germinate this year. Amen. Don't let no one discourage you in this hour because you will get discouraged. People want to put you in a box when God is greater than the box they try to put you in. Amen. I thank God that I completed this project. I can thank God for all, like I said, all my bishops. I can name them one by one. I can name everyone that had a hand to do with me as far as salvation, all the way from a little girl. My first my first pastor was a woman. Isn't that something? Hallelujah, Vera Dawson. And I thank God for her. Yeah, she seen something in me when I, that I didn't see in myself when I was a little girl. And then after that, Reverend A.B. Searcy. And after that, guess, you know what? There's something how you can remember all your pastors, isn't it? And I thank God for each and every one that imparted in me. I was also ordained by Tudor Bismarck. I thank God for him. Bill Winston, yes. Uh, 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 my first, no, my third pastor was Bishop David L. Ellis at Greater Grace Temple Taylor. And then Bishop Gary Harper after then, and then uh, the one that ordained me was Bill Winston, and I have not moved from that affiliation since. Amen? So God bless you, and I really am excited, and I hope you are excited for me. Amen? Because I know a lot of times people, they'll, they'll act as if they're excited, but all the time they're really not excited. But rejoice with them that rejoice, okay? And I tell you, God is going to do something great and mightily in your life. God bless you once again. As I said before, my exalted scripture is Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So look up. I tell you, God is getting ready to do something great in your life. If you got something that you know God gave you a vision, don't you let no one take your vision from you. Push, push, and make sure that baby come out. Amen? God bless you. I love you. I am Dr. Teresa A. Moulton, and I love you with the love of Jesus. Amen.